Hey everyone, it's Michelle, the Dreaming Dilettante. Welcome to the Dilettante's Home. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a Shop Small Saturday plant haul. So I went and visited a local nursery that I've never been to. Um, it's been around for a very long time. I just have never gone there myself. And I found out last week when I was looking for local nurseries that they have quite the extensive house plants um, section. Because a lot of the nurseries don't. It's all outdoor plants. And this one has an amazing ex um, selection of plants. And I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here. just a little sneak peek they had tons and tons of plants they were really helpful the staff was wonderful at uh, pointing me in the direction of certain things that I was looking for and telling me about the different things they offer they do plant swaps and lots of cool things so I thought it'd be fun to share with you the house plants that ended up following me home so I also want to preface this by saying I am still learning how to say most of the Latin names of plants I tend to know most of the plants by their common names so I'm working on learning their um, Latin version so I think this is something that we can learn together so please go easy on me if you can <laughs> if I'm not pronouncing these correctly but one of the first plants I picked up I was so excited to see um, and it is this now I have known this my whole life as a purple passion but it is technically called a Gynera orantiaca uh, I think that's how I pronounce it I'll put the the name here for you and this is a plant that my mother always had. My mother had tons of house plants, not tons compared to what I currently have, but my mother always had house plants. This was one of the first house plants I had when I got my own home, and I absolutely love them. They're not anything special or rare or exotic, but I love it. And I was feeling a little nostalgic and I wanted to have one because I don't have one in my collection. And I found this one for $9. It's a nice, nice pot of them, and I'm just, I'm just so excited because I haven't had this in a long time when I had house plants when I was first married I tended to kill most of them quickly and uh, <laughs> I would buy them and I kind of forgot about them and um, yeah so I am really excited to have this plant I'm pretty sure they propagate very easily because I know my mother used to give me clippings of hers and things like that I think it I think that was this plant so yeah I'm really excited to have this one in my collection and I was so happy to see that they had it there because I've been looking for it for a little while next up and oh my gosh I love these plants these have become one of my new favorites I have this is a peperomia and this is a peperomia uh, quick hang on Quito, I think it's called, Quito, I'll put that in there. Um, and I love, these are one of my new favorite plants. I picked up one, I like to shop the, um, the clearance section at some of the big box stores and I picked up one, it was a different variety, but it was so pretty and it was in really rough shape and it, it's been struggling and I've got this itty bitty plant right now from it. So I potted it down and it's looking like it's, it's got some new growth, so I'm hopeful. But when I saw this one with the colors, look, isn't that beautiful? All the different, you've got the greens and the, like, this is almost like a, you know, like a peachy orange color. Yeah, I had to, I had to get one because I just, these peperomias are becoming like one of my, one of my most favorite plants. Um, calatheas are really like, I'm just in love with calatheas right now. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, just look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then I picked, I'm gonna save these for the end because I think they have a cool story. This one, they had in the uh, larger pots, like hanging pots with the it trailing down and it's called uh, Burrow's Tail. And I just, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I, Cause I was talking to the cashier and I'm just like, <laughs> just petting it. It's just, I love the texture on it. And it's a um, succulent, 
brain stop. Um, it's a succulent, so I'm pretty sure you can propagate more of them just by these little leaves. So as they come off, you just set them in soil and I think they grow new ones. But isn't that gorgeous? So I didn't get the hanging pots that were fuller and, and, and had gorgeous trailing ones. So I picked up a smaller one, but isn't that pretty? Look at that. Oh, love it, love it, love it. So, and this is my first time growing the peperomia and this, the burrow's tail, I've never grown these either. So next is another peperomia and this is a, this was called Hope's Pride, I believe. Um, I'll double check and I'll put the name on here because uh, it doesn't, this one doesn't have a, a plant tag, but isn't that gorgeous? Look at just the, I don't know, there was just something about the the texture of the leaves, like they're they're like nice thick leaves and the colors on them. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's a nice size plant, I thought. So, and I haven't seen these before, so I gave myself a little treat on this one, but isn't it gorgeous? And I, I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but that's half the fun, isn't it? <laughs> and then this, look how pretty. This is an alocasia, I think it was called a silver dollar or silver tooth or something. They had QR codes where we could scan everything and then um, it tells you about the plant and stuff. So I'll put the name here so that you can see what it is, but isn't this beautiful? I just love the detail on these leaves. Absolutely beautiful. And um, yeah, alocasias, calatheas, peperomias, those are kind of my new, I'm um, kind of drawn to them. I don't know what it is. And I would love to have some of these um, here in the studio. So far, the only thing I've been able to grow in the studio is Golden Pothos. Um, it gets chilly in here. I have heaters that I turn on when I'm here, but uh, when I'm not here, it gets chilly. And so, um, yeah, my plants wouldn't, I don't think they would do very well here in the winter, but isn't this gorgeous? Yeah, so I am so, so psyched about that one. And then these, I picked up two of them, and I'll tell you why. This is a jade plant, and these are cuttings from a jade plant that they have there, and I'll insert um, some video here. These are cuttings of that plant. So I just thought that was so cool. And this one I picked up, I don't know if you can see, oh yeah, you can see up there, there it has little red on the edges. So I picked that one out, which I really liked. And then I picked out the second one because it just was such a rich, deep green that I just, yeah, I was like, I have to get that one too. So that is my little mini plant, well not so many, but little, <laughs> little mini plant haul. So they're here in the studio for now, and then I'm going to just bring them tonight. I'm going to be bringing them home, um, but I wanted to share them with you here first before um, they went home to find their new homes. I'm so excited with the haul that I got, and um, I'll try to let you know where I put everything. So in the description box below, there'll be an accompanying blog post, and I'll have some photos of these plants, some close-up ones, so you can take a good look at them, along with some information about the plants. So if you have these, or you'd like to know a little bit more about them, I'll try to give you, you know, the full descriptions and um, a little bit about what I've learned for the plants themselves and how to take care of them and that sort of thing. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you again next week. Take care.